Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Just Rolled In. This customer's vehicle was only brought in for an oil change. When the technician was performing a visual inspection, he noticed that a leaf spring and shackle was broken on the passenger side. And on the other side, the leaf spring shackle was broken, so they used a ratchet strap. The technician also noticed quite a bit wrong with this Ford E350 once he checked the front end. Looks regular on this side. It's broken half on this side and someone welded a bar on it to try and hold this car together and all these wires are to hold all these broken parts together. And this customer's truck was towed in as it won't start. Before diagnosing the issue, the technician noticed that the bottom of the B-pillar was completely rusted out. The shop refused to work on this vehicle once they noticed this and told the customer it's not safe to drive. This customer had recently purchased this SUV and brought it in as they said the steering seems off, and it just recently had some work done before they bought it. Whoever did the work damaged the threads for the outer tie rod end and did this. I might have seen it like that before. This 2017 Range Rover with over 60,000 miles on it was brought in as the engine is seized. They aren't sure when the last oil change was performed as there's no service records for this vehicle, but it'll be getting a used engine installed. And this customer brought in their vehicle for new tires, and as they said, they have water leaking out of their exhaust and they want it checked out. This customer's truck was towed in as it has multiple electrical issues. The technician found that mice chewed this wiring harness, and there was also water leaking onto the harness, which created quite their thermal event. Mouses, houses. A customer decided to tow his Jeep to the shop using the strap as it needed a new battery. In doing so, the customer now needs a new grill, radiator, fan, and radiator support. Customer states, ever since they repaired one of their brake lines, their car doesn't stop very well. This customer just purchased this vehicle and brought it in as they said their brake pedal feels very soft. When performing a brake inspection, the technician noticed it had disc brakes on one side and drum brakes on the other. The customer declined repairs at this time. And this vehicle was brought in as they said the lane keep assist fault light is on. This customer declined recommended fuel injectors for an engine misfire, as he said he will do it himself. Now the customer is back a week later after he had a fire in the engine bay, after he installed the fuel injectors himself. Customer states they have an oil leak after another shop installed a new engine. The technician thinks that whoever installed the engine installed one from a two-wheel drive model, which has a different size of oil pan, so the person who installed the engine smashed the oil pan to make it fit. When this vehicle came in for an oil change, the technician noticed all of these cracks in the wheel. The customer did not have the correct size of spare tire to install, and only one of their oil changed. This clip was sent in by a viewer of their 1950 Buick Special. He mentioned it had a custom paint job, air ride suspension, a 3 on the tree transmission, and a straight 8 engine. I hope you enjoyed this video and please consider leaving a like or subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.